Hey everyone, Joey here with the Timeline Slicer Pro and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Collage Studios templates. Now it's really simple and easy to use. Uh, I think the most important part here is knowing what you want and, and how you want your collages to look like and feel like. So once you got a few images in mind that you want to use, then you could go ahead and look at your templates and see which ones uh, will look best for you or which one will fit best for those images because we got collages that that you know holds up to three images some that holds up to like uh, ten, 10 images so you know it all depends on what you want and and how you want want it to look like so in this video we're just going to do something really simple and easy something with like three images but they all work the same okay so the first thing that you're going to need to do is obviously get into your member's office or member's back office and, and go into your Timeline Slicer Pro. Now I'm right here in Minds and the first thing I'm going to do is it's always has this uh, drop an image thing here. This is actually a layer. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and delete this because I really, I'm not going to do anything with any type of text here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and, and click on this add image here. Now you could go ahead and uh, and and drag and drop your collage, or just go ahead and do it like I do it here. Sometimes you know it's easier to just go ahead and, and click on that button. But anyways, you're going to see these collages here. Well, first thing is you're going to go ahead and see these uh, these folders here, okay? And then what you're going to do is just go ahead and click on this collages folder here, and then right here you're going to see all of your templates and we got a whole bunch of different ones uh, with different colors and different layouts there's like a hundred total I think it is uh, but you just go down the list and see which ones uh, you like and as you can see you can actually see it there in the color uh, I made it a little bit easy here I mean, you know I named it with the actual color it is you know like black 05, black 06 and, and so forth and you got some blue ones here uh, red ones and so forth okay now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, this one here. Which one is it? Uh, number 17, I think it is. It's one of my favorites. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Open. And then you'll automatically, it'll, it'll be right there. And like I said, you could drag and drop it as well. All right. Now, once it's there, all you got to do is just go ahead and drag it to, to wherever you want. Guys, just cl uh, left click and hold it. And basically, just drag it wherever you want to. Now, I purposely created these or made these collages like a little bit wider and taller so that way you could go ahead and, and do this like what I'm doing here okay because maybe there's an image that you want to show case more down here or you know just like whatever right so uh, I purposely did that so you could go ahead and just put it anywhere okay I mean the slicer is gonna uh, cut it and slice it anyways at 851 by 315 whatever the dimensions are so it doesn't matter but I did this purposely just so you could go ahead and play around with it any way you want okay now once I got it set to wherever I want to okay I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm, and this time I'm gonna go ahead and drag a few of these images in here because there's actually three images I want to play with okay and and these are right here okay now I want you to notice something all right guys you notice how the layers went down uh, a bit and the actual collage went down look at here to the right hand side okay this is very very important okay you want to go ahead and move this layer all the way to the first position this will make sure uh, make sure that the collage is actually in the front and it'll give it that collage feel okay you see like I just did right there all right so and then the image is really it, it doesn't matter in which order you place it I like to go ahead and place the one that I'm actually gonna mess with first right there that way it'll be in the top part okay or you could do these one by one anyway whichever way it's easier for you okay I find it easier to just go ahead and slap all the images there at once that way I'll, I'll get the feel of how it looks like right then and there anyways <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and mess with this one first and I'm gonna place her right over here okay now you may notice that right here in the little back area you see that blue the image is sort of a little bit you know uh, smaller now I could go ahead and 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 you know 
click on these little squares and drag it to make it bigger. But to be easier for, for me, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the actual layer for the collage and move it just a little bit there just to go ahead and cover all that stuff. That's That way I don't have to do any type of resizing or anything. The, the most important thing is that the edges here, I don't know if you can see the hand here, the edges here of the actual collage is covered with the actual collage. I don't know if that makes sense, okay? So once I got her uh, there and I'm, I'm pr pretty happy with it, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and click on the next one, which is this one here, okay? And that one's in the back part, and that's okay. I want her that picture there because if not, then, you know, it'll look like this. Now, I could always, you know, crop it to size, but, you know, to save time and all that stuff, I mean, you really don't need it because it's, it's hiding behind that image there, okay? So what I want to do is I want to place this guy up here, okay? And that's me when I was like a, a baby, <laughs> having babies, right? But anyways, right there, right? So what I want to do here is actually resize uh, that image there. Now, I want to show you a little trick here, guys, okay? Um, a, a lot of you guys uh, are having issues with, you know, you click on this little square here, and then the image goes in circles like this, right? And you really can't control it. Well, here's a little trick to that, okay? Now, if you click and hold your shift key in your keyboard, if you click and hold it, and then you go ahead and drag this, you see there? Now you really can't go ahead and... and, and move this around, you know, and twist it or, or anything. What this does is actually keeps the image in proportion while you resize it, okay? And that's a cool little feature that we just added. So again, you click on the shift key on your keyboard and hold it, okay? Then you go ahead and left click on this and just on any square and you could drag it anywhere you want. It will keep the image straight and it will keep it in proportion as you're going up and down in size okay so i'm just going to go ahead and do that and i'm going to move it here just a little bit like that and i think that's pretty good let me go ahead and do it a little bit smaller okay and uh okay i'm having a little issue oh i'm pressing the wrong button guys sorry about that i'm uh, trying to do too many things at once <laughs> Okay, so I think that's pretty good right there, okay? We'll go ahead and leave it right there. I think that looks good, okay? Now, you may notice this extra sp space right here, okay? I don't worry about it because, like I said, I still got another image to play around with. So I'm going to go ahead and, and right here to the right-hand side, move that image to the top part. That'll bring it up some, and then now I could go ahead and cover that extra little piece there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. I'm going to click on the shift key, hold it down while I go ahead and resize this so I can stay in proportion just a bit, and then let go of it, and I'm just going to drag this down here. And what I want to do with this one is actually make the profile picture here look like it's part of the collage. I think that looks really good, cool, and people always seem to like it and always seem to ask how I, how I did it in my, you know, my Facebook stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. Make sure my daughter's showing there. I think I'm going to have to do this one just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to hold on the shift key, drag a little bit down, and do it like so. Okay? And I think I'm happy with that right there. Now you see this little extra piece here since that is the last image. Okay? Now you, you know, the, the, the beautiful thing about cropping and being able to crop your images is that you really don't have to place this perfectly here. Like you see right there, obviously that looks ugly and I cannot leave it like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this cropper here, okay? And then I'm just going to place it right here like so, okay? And matter of fact, let me go ahead and just open this up a little bit like that. Drag it down just a little bit like, like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and place it right on the image like... See, what I'm doing here is placing it like right inside that specific collage piece. You know, the lower left-hand part. Okay, it doesn't matter here on the right-hand side. You see how the actual cropper is, is bigger than the whole thing? It doesn't matter. You What you want to do is just go ahead and do that. Make sure that this area is covered here. 
Okay, once that's that's done and I'm happy with it, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the checker right here. Okay, and that's it. It cropped the image, it sliced it and diced it to where I want it to. Now it always does that thing. Now all I gotta do is just go ahead and place it right there where it was at. And that's it. I'm done. Okay. And that's pretty much it. That, that's how you do all of your collages. Okay. Some, I mean, we have some really uh, nice collages that were like, like 10 pieces or eight pieces, six pieces, like more images that you can play with. Okay. And you're just going to have to play around with it just like I did here. Now, obviously I didn't do a 10 piece because it'll take me forever here. Right. But, you know, you get the idea. You could go ahead and play around with this as, you know, any way you want. And we got all different types of collages. And we're going to keep creating new ones, okay? And since you already got your, your collage, you're not going to be, you know, you won't have to pay for any more. The more collages we create, we're just going to send them to you guys, okay? And, you know, you, could, you guys just have fun with it. So we're, we are going to continue to create more uh, different layouts, different formats, and just go ahead and uh, and just let you guys know when they're updated and just give them to you so you guys could go ahead and download and start playing with it. Um, but we're pretty much it here, guys. Uh, so once we're done here, all you got to go ahead and do is, uh, you know, you could either click on these images here. You're going to have to click on the download profile because it's going to slice and dice this actual image just like so. And then, you know, uh, download the the entire header now for me i just make it e for it's just easier for me to just go ahead and click on download all all right it's going to give you everything even the thumbnails but it's just easier than clicking on two different buttons you know so just go ahead and download the entire piece and then when you're done with it you just upload it to your uh, facebook timeline pages or your facebook uh, profile page uh, just like I taught you in the other video and then just show it off to people, you know, and, and, and have fun with it. So there you have it. That's how you use the collage studios, guys. Uh, any questions, please let me know in the comments uh, section below. OK, let me know any problems, any questions you may have, whatever. OK, and uh, I will, you know, as soon as I can, I will go ahead and reply to you ASAP. OK, just go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. All right. So with that said, this is Joy Kissimmee. Peace. I love you free. And I'll see you on the next video.